Hey, welcome to the Morning Minute Meditation here at the Higher Grounds Podcast. Today our interest is in a young man by the name of Jacob. He has gone into the land of Padanaram to seek a wife, but mainly to escape the scourge of his brother Esau. As he gets there, he finds his family, a man by the name of Laban. He has a very beautiful daughter by the name of Rachel, and Jacob's falling in love with her. His uncle Laban comes to him and says, listen, there's no sense in you working here without being paid. What is it that you'd like to have? He said, I'd really like to have Rachel's hand in marriage. The deal is struck and Jacob begins to work for the hand of Rachel in marriage. And it just seems like a few days. And now it's the wedding day. The wedding has uh, taken place and the feast is over and he goes into the tent and wakes up in the morning and the Bible said in Genesis 29, 25, and it came to pass that in the morning, behold, it was Leah. And he said to Laban, what is this thou hast done unto me? Did I not serve with thee for Rachel? Wherefore then hast thou beguiled me? Why have you tricked me? Why am I waking up with cross-eyed Leah instead of the raving, beautiful Rachel? Well, it is because you're reaping where you've sown, my dear fellow. For years, you have taken matters into your own hands, ignoring the promises of God and trying to work them out yourself. You've tricked your brother in regard to his birthright with a bowl of pottage. You have, you have co-conspired with your mother, and now you have stolen a blessing, and you're running to keep Esau from shedding your blood. And now, since you've tried to work out your own details, in life, someone else has pulled the same little shenanigan on you. Here's the bottom line, friends. When we try, instead of trusting, we generally wind up with a travesty. Stop trying to work things out. Let God do the working out in your life, and you will be glad you did. From the Higher Grounds Podcast, have a great day.